All right, welcome back to another national PSI real estate exam prep. And today we're going to talk about contracts. And more specifically, we're going to talk about five questions with their explanation as to why they are the answer. So question number one, the transfer of rights and duties, but not liabilities from one contract to another or from one person to another person is an assignment. An assignment involves the transfer of rights and responsibilities from one party to another without transferring liabilities. An acknowledgement refers to a signature that has been notarized. Addendums are additional items incorporated into offers, while an amendment alters the executory contract. Question number two. When a party is in default in a contract due to missing a payment deadline, the contract is considered breached. If either party fails to meet a deadline or make a payment, they are in breach of the contract. Question number three. A seller may keep the buyer's earnest money as liquidated damages if the buyer defaults and the purchase agreement stipulates liquidated damages as a remedy. In a liquidated damages purchase contract, the seller can retain the earnest money if the buyer defaults. Conversely, the buyer usually has specific performance remedies available if the seller defaults. Question number four. To create an executory contract, the offeree must accept the offer without any changes to the offer. Acceptance of an offer must be unconditional without alterations. Timeframes for acceptance are established within the offer and can differ. Contracts do not necessarily require written documentation or approval by an attorney to be legally binding. And question number five, when a buyer and a seller enter into a purchase agreement, contract of sale, the legal remedy that each has to force the other party to perform the terms of the agreement is specific performance. Specific performance entails legal action seeking to enforce the completion of contextual terms when the party initiating the lawsuit desires fulfillment. This remedy is accessible to both buyers and sellers in purchase agreements. Conversely, actual damages involve suing for monetary compensation for damages incurred without necessarily requiring contract performance. Liquidated damages involves retaining the buyer's earnest money while unilateral rescission denotes a one-sided termination initiated by a party who believes the other party has failed to fulfill its contextual obligations. All right, this was five questions with their explanations as to why. To help you pass your PSI National Real Estate Exam, if this was helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe because we drop a new video every week to help you pass your national PSI real estate exam.